Kenya and winning his already fifth medal at the World Championships. He has three silvers and now two golds. Ezekiel Kemboy. Second place for Brimin Kibruto, the world leader, also winning a third medal at the World Championships. He was bronze medalist in Helsinki, winner in Osaka and today second. And the bronze medal for European champion and Olympic silver medalist, Mahiele Mekisi Benaba. Congratulations. So, the first impressions of the winner. You played a little board dance after the race. Can you say something about it? About your emotions? Why were you so emotional? I think uh, today to have won the gold in the elbow. This is my fifth medal at the World uh, Championship. The last three were three silvers. Now there are two gold medals. I think uh, my target now is to win another gold in maybe 2013 in Moscow. To make them six, three silvers, three gold. Then I said on something else, but today winning. So I had to do uh, a bit of dance to make the people of Korea, the ex, uh, make them uh, to enjoy it because they have been good old people. Everywhere you go in the Aegu city, they are nice people. So I want them to enjoy like they have won the day in the Aegu. Thank you. Now, Brimin, what is your comment on the race? How was it for you today? So the race was okay for me. I'm very happy for Silva. I'm uh, grateful for that in my country. I think my country is a good nice. So I'm very grateful for that. Was the pace maybe not too slow for you today? Uh, Champion City is a race. I mean, A party, A class. So the race was the way you Okay, thank you very much. Now the question to our French bronze medal winner. How was the race for you? You had a very strong finish, winning the bronze medal in the finish. Was that according to your plan? Okay, okay. 
and uh, I'd like to congratulate the Camboy uh, uh, for the gold medal, and the second medalist also. They are very good uh, runners, and uh, I'd like to congratulate two uh, uh, medalists of gold and silver. Uh, I tried to uh, catch up with uh, the first two runners, runners uh, especially at the uh, 400 meters final, but uh, uh, I want to be the second silver medalist for the Red Cup Hustle, and uh, I'm very happy with the uh, third uh, place. And then uh, I, I think the Kenyans are very good uh, runners. They are the best in the world. And uh, uh, I realized that I have a far way to go before getting the best place, the first place. And I'm aiming at the uh, Olympic Games in London next year. But uh, uh, before that, I think I deserve, I, I uh, deserve, uh, deserve, deserve a very good vacation. Yes. Thank you very much. Your questions, please. Please be ready with microphones. Questions in the second row here. You're ready. Yes. Um, it's a here. What are your next plans for this season? Thanks uh, very much for your question. I think uh, after this, I'll be running in Zurich next week. Uh, I think I want to run in Zurich a full time to try to run, uh, to break my personal best of 7.55. I think I want to in Zurich to run like 7.54, 7.53. Thank you. Next question, please. Yes, there. Uh, wait for a microphone. Please afterwards translate uh, my colleague. Yes. Yeah, uh, questions for Brian. Oh, sorry. And uh, Marilyn, uh, the French team uh, has gone to protest uh, against uh, Brian because it seems that he had the arrival. Uh, he changed his lane. So I want to know what he thinks about it. Did he change? And Marilyn, Marilyn, what do you think of the gene? We start with Brimin. Brimin, can you make a comment on that situation? Uh, of course. I didn't think anything about the, the line, but uh, I think the race was the case. I think she was set up in that position and I'm set up in third position. Now, I think Matisse was second in the Olympic, so I think in the next Olympic, I think it will be tough for us. I think Matisse is coming. So I think we'll do our best if we take code and answer that for that. Thanks. Okay. And Maidi, your comment on that? Vous savez, je pense que je pense que ça fait ça fait partie de la course et c'est le sport. Et voilà, c'est la loi du sport, c'est comme ça. Et Je pense qu'il n'a pas fait exprès, je pense que c'était un réflexe, et, c est, c est, a, je pense que comme tu dis, c'est plus qu'un réflexe qu'autre chose, et, et bon, je suis content, de toute façon, je suis content de ce que j'ai fait, et il mérite sa deuxième place, et je pense que, je pense que, si on aurait retiré sa médaille, sa, sa médaille, il aurait été, ça m'aurait affecté un petit peu, mais content un peu. Il aurait récupéré une médaille, mais bon, il mérite sa médaille, il l'a gagné sur le terrain. Et... Comme dit, c'est un réflexe, c'est plus un réflexe qu'autre chose. Et... Voilà, c'est du passé maintenant. Ok, merci pour la traduction. Je pense que c'est ok, parce que c'est part du jeu, et c'est le sport. Et je voudrais exprimer ma congratulation à la médaille de l'or, parce que c'est un réflexe de changer la lane. And then I'm very happy for what I have done. And uh, I think he deserves the second place, the silver medal. And I'm very happy. And uh, I understand when he said that uh, he is kind of reflex. Not, uh, he did not he do it uh, deliberately. Yes, please, more questions here in the first row. Please, microphone here. For donation. 
congratulations, Ezekiel. Ezekiel, can you tell us uh, the meaning of your hairstyle? That's one question. Second question. Uh, wait, we, we wait for the first question. Yes, please answer if you can. I think uh, my hairstyle in Berlin was different uh, than of today. Uh, I know when I shave my hair, I believe in myself. And uh, whenever I shave my hair, it's always going to be a tough race. Yeah. The next question is about your celebration. There are about three celebrations you did. The first one, when you crossed the line, you started pumping your. What was that all about and uh, the dance? Can you explain uh, the meaning of those two celebrations? I think all the celebration was because I cemented my title. You know, to cement my title is not an easy, easy job. So all the celebrations were because I have cemented my title here in the. And a, a quick question to, to yes, Brim. Yes. Brim, in, uh, you're so close in Monaco to the record. What is your focus now? We, uh, Kenya has uh, the world title now. You have the Olympic title, but the world record is still missing. Yeah, I just worked about in uh, Monaco. No, now I'm very. Maybe we are going to split or to something. I'm not saying I'm going for a record. I'm sorry, but we are going to try. If it's possible, we can go. It's not possible to try next time, maybe next year, the beginning of the season. Okay, more questions? Mark, please, the microphone. Uh, we are surprised by the pace of the race and by the fact that the South African and Ugandese uh, athletes made the pace for uh, two, uh, two kilometers, I'd say two kilometers fifty. Uh, there was no tactic from the Kenyan team. And question to Mayerin, are you surprised by the, the kind of race itself? As a kid. I think uh, there was no tactic in the rest. This is uh, Champions League. There's no tactic, not like uh, Diamond League or Grand League, where there's pressure like that. Here, everybody come, you run for your own country. And always in Champions League, everybody is a winner. So when you win, it's for your parents to go. Everybody in Cabinet is prepared to win a gold medal for his uh, country. Okay. And did you translate to my the question, please? Yes. Is it the same as the the je m'étais préparé à plusieurs scénarios de course. Moi, j'ai depuis tout euh, depuis ce temps, je, je m'entraîne, c'est pour euh, pour euh, toutes sortes de scénarios avec euh, mon coach Farouk. On travaille, le, on a pensé à ce que ça soit une course rapide ou une, une course euh, lente. J'étais prêt euh, aux deux scénarios et, et j'ai vu tout de suite euh, dès le premier 400 mètres que, que ça allait être une course euh, lente. Parce que, comme je vous ai dit, euh, moi la seule, euh, la seule chose que, que m'a porté, c'était euh, de suivre euh, le Kenya, peu importe le rythme. Et c'est ce que j'ai fait. Oh, dans le global, je suis content de la course que je réalise parce que j'ai couru comme je le voulais. Je fais juste une erreur, c'est quand Kenboy l'attaque, je ne suis pas au contact. C'est juste là que que j'ai un petit regret parce que il attaque et moi je suis, je suis au contact de lui, ce serait, ce serait un autre contexte. Mais bon, on ne peut pas refaire la course. C'est de l'apprentissage pour, pour les années à venir et voilà. Maintenant qu'on pour les Jeux Olympiques, ce sera, ce, ce sera une autre course. I've been preparing for the several scenarios and uh, I was always uh, aware that the, uh, there can be uh, uh, several scenarios for each race. And uh, I was uh, taught by my coach uh, like that. And uh, there is a, a fast race and slow race. And uh, I, I knew that the, uh, <coughs> the first 400 meters would be a slow, slow race. Uh, and uh, uh, that's, what, that's why I was, uh, I was surprised to see the Kenyans for the first 400 meters. But uh, when they uh, 
attacked me uh, very strongly for the first 400 meters. I just uh, regret that uh, I did not uh, could catch up with him. But uh, uh, I think uh, I have done what I have done, and uh, I am very happy with the uh, uh, what we buy up, with my, what I have done. Thank you. Do you have the question? Vous avez dit que les Kenyans étaient les meilleurs coureurs. On les a vus encore sur, sur ces mondiaux. D'après vous, qu'est-ce qu'ils ont de plus que les coureurs occidentaux même que, même que vous okay, Thank you. Please, if you can translate the question. As I said, um, that Medin said that you are the, the best runner of the world. So, um, basically, uh, what, is, what are your secrets <coughs> Thanks. I think the relay is very good dog. Mr. Repon. <laughs> I think Marisa is very strong. He beat me in the Olympics in Beijing. It was good for him. He was number two, I was number seven. So he's very strong. In uh, Pali, uh, Bob Tari was number three. I was fast. I think for the French guys, they have done their best. In Pali, number three. He has stayed in the number three, but I want them uh, next year in Olympics. The French guys to win the gold medal next year. I'm telling them, try next year to win the gold in Olympics. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and and Marielle, can you answer the question? Because I think the difference is that they are out. I think that their course is that they train all the year in a team. Et à l'entraînement, je pense que tu dois vraiment s'entraîner dur. Et ce qui fait la différence, c'est que... Voilà, c'est... s'entraîne dur et... s'entraîne dur. J'ai beaucoup de respect pour les Kenyans parce que... Quand j'étais petit, quand j'ai regardé à la télé... Je les voyais tout le temps gagner et je me disais quand je serais grand, je les battrais. Et c'est ce que j'essaye de faire. Et je prends exemple sur eux. Et, et beaucoup, j'ai regardé beaucoup de reportages sur les Kenyans. Et, et je sais que le secret, leur secret, c'est l'entraînement. Il faut s'entraîner toujours dur, dur, dur. Euh, c'est ce que c'est ce que j'essaye de faire au quotidien. Mais bon, comme je dis, ça, euh, ils sont vraiment très forts parce que quand ils, ont, ils, sont, ils sont quatre et. Euh, les quatre, ils sont forts, ils sont du même niveau et il n'y a pas de leader. Entre Fikuto, Kamboy, Matelon, Paul Koch, c'est du même niveau et ça joue à très peu de choses et, et c'est ce qui fait leur force. The difference between uh, me and the Kenyans is that they are trained very hard, very, very hard, all year long. And uh, I think that, that makes the difference. And, uh, I respect them very much because they are uh, trained very, very hard and uh, they uh, are doing very, very well. And uh, I watched the TV screens very much on the Kenyans and I was impressed by their performance, but uh, I uh, thought that I could beat them on, on the ground, but uh, it was not possible. So uh, I think uh, the, the other difference in the Kenyan team is that there's no leader in their team uh, they are all the same level, and they are all they, they are very good, and that's why uh, they beat me and they got the gold medal. Thank you. Here, there was a question. Yes. Kamboy, uh, um, you finished you finished the race uh, on lane seven. Was it a particular reason, or did you just finish? Come on, again, please. Uh, you finished the race. You crossed the line uh, on lane seven. Was it a particular reason that you did it? No, I just want, uh, I think, uh, I just want every day to be in a style, we would always, we finish the race in lane one, lane two, but today I wanted to be a different style, everything uh, different, like the style, yeah. Okay. So, uh, that was the Kenya 9 gold medal from the World Championships. Once again, big congratulations, Ezekiel Kemboy, Brimit Kipruto and Maria Rinne Kisi. Benabad of France, congratulations.